Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we have a Jane Doe, estimated age 20 to 30 years old. Sometimes they're off with the age, so the missing persons I included um, aren't that exact age. And if you have any loved ones, family, friends that you know are missing, please check the name is case files and see if they're listed on there. If they're not listed on there as missing, please contact the investigators and try to get them to put them into NamUs. And also try to get them onto the Doe Network and the Charlie Project and other places as well. Um, this Jane Doe, it says estimated age 20 to 30. She was found September 19th, 1989 under some ivy. She's estimated to be about five foot four. Uh, they said most of the remains were, were recovered. They were skeletal remains. It said months is the estimated PMI, which says 1989. But sometimes when it says months, it means like a year or two. But I don't know what the months mean. Um, and then it gives a, a black high top athletic shoe, possibly a size 7, two gold collar loop earrings, and a black bra size 34C, a blue socks, and a pair of stonewashed uh brand Jean Cena brand and so uh, one of the missing persons we have she went missing in 1989 she was 36 years old she was about five foot three um, she was last seen when she left 612 Moreland Avenue southeast on her way to Fair Street Bottom area of Atlanta Georgia black hair brown eyes and I don't know exactly where that Jane Doe is found this says she was wearing a green shirt, blue jeans, and black shoes. What did this say? Black high top shoes, gray stock, stonewashed jeans, black bra, and one blue sock. It doesn't say anything about a shirt. So I thought, well, you know, this could be her, maybe. Right? And. Says she wears an upper denture plate. So, and there's really not that much more information other than her date of birth, which was December 5th, 1952. Uh, then we have this chain, though, but she went missing all the way in 1986, about 13 miles away. No, 13 minutes away, about 13 minutes away, sorry. About seven miles away, about 13 minutes away from where the Jane Doe was found. She was 30 years old, about five foot three, African American. So, also Fulton County, which is where the Jane Doe was found, was found in Fulton County. A uh, gold front tooth. There's no picture of her. And interesting enough, they didn't do a picture of the Jane, what the Jane Doe may have looked, you know, like an artist's reconstruction of an image. And then we also have this one, which is pretty kind of far away in Georgia. Monica Renita Bennett from Brunswick, Georgia. She was 15 years old. I chose to leave her in. She was about 5'5", five five, 130 pounds. Um, her and her brother Michael went missing. I, I did a video on this. And there is a Charlie Project. And, you know, I don't know who puts the information on there, but it's on there. And you can pause this and read it. It talks about Monica and Michael. It talks about how Monica had allegedly been abused, sexually abused. Um, it talks about there was um, their mother, Deborah George, and her husband, Robert George. They were separated. It talks about how M Monica had said she was sexually abused by Robert, and nobody believed her, even though Deborah had caught him. I think Melissa and her sister or something when she was 13. And then Michael didn't believe her. The brother didn't believe her either. But the brother walked in on it. On him sexually abusing her. And then they split up and they were separated. And they were living with different people. But he had just moved into an apartment. Um, Robert George. But he was already moving out. He had everything packed up and ready to go. And allegedly had to go to two different houses to pick up Michael and Monica. And Michael was crying and begging and didn't want to go with him. And then they went there to help him. And there was some bed and bedding there. But when the siblings went later, Michael and Monica were gone. There were two bags, uh, two big trash bags by the door. And they asked what was in them. And they said, and he told them. It was Michael and Monica's belongings. 
and neither one of them have ever been seen again. And after that happened, before they even went missing, while they were still with him, he was in the uh, complex and he had another relative that lived in the apartment complex called Deborah to ask if she, he went got on the phone with her to beg her to take her back. And supposedly he said they were already missing or something. I don't know. And they weren't missing yet. And she decided to take him back. And then they got, they, he, she took him back. And then right away they just took off and moved and left the state. Not even caring that the children were missing or gone. That's pretty much what it alleges when you read this. So and I don't know if it's true or not, but it's, it's pretty, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. And I have another video on it. And I didn't want to sit here and read all this and make the whole video about them. I wanted it to be about the Jane Doe. But, yeah, it's pretty bad. And so, if you have any information about who this Jane Doe might be, please contact authorities and let them know. You can email... Uh, detectives and you can CC the police department and the sheriff's department that way you cover it and that way you've emailed several people in case the um, you know in case you're afraid they won't take the information down or do anything with it or you don't know if the emails are going to work because some of that maybe the emails are outdated and even if it's hearsay somebody's been drinking and talking you're not sure if it's true let them decide what's relevant and what's important just give them the information that you have and let them know you're not sure and where it came from or however you want to do it. And if you don't want to email them, you don't want them to know who you are, you can always write them letters, you know, to, to try to remain more anonymous if you like. And if you know what happened to any of these missing persons, you have any information, because it's been a lot of years, you know, who knows how many detectives it's been through, how the information's been stored, what information they have left, you know. If you knew who they spent time with, who they were afraid of, anything like that, please contact authorities and give them any information that you have whatsoever. And don't forget to pray for their families or loved ones. Feel free to leave comments and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.